Well, welcome to Thought for the Day. Well, it's the anniversary, the first anniversary, isn't it? A year ago today was when we heard the news we were, by that stage you all expecting, uh, that we were going to lose many of the freedoms we'd taken for granted. We were going to be told we had to stay at home. We were told that uh, we couldn't meet with other people. Um, very soon the leaders of the Church of England told it, told because they couldn't even go into their churches, even here where it's, it's next door. We discovered whole new ways of working. A whole other new things came into our life. Zoom, we'd barely heard of. Now we, it's fairly normal to have meetings, meetings by Zoom. Uh, YouTube, all the video um, and social media things start to become a major part of our life. Uh, a video camera, I'd never owned, owned a video camera, now I'm using one every day. Masks, face masks, took us a while even to accept that they were going to be part of life and now we, we each have our own little collection, don't we? Uh, vaccination, maybe, maybe some people had the flu jab regularly but vaccination was sort of something that happened to children, now it's something that we all have, we all have, we all have. Testing, some, some people may not have had tests yet, but I think testing is going to be part of our life in the weeks and months ahead. Uh, life has changed in lots of different ways. And as I think about how to, how as Christians we, we can think about this, I think that the, the the picture, the, the image, that the, the metaphor that I think is most useful is the idea of the wilderness. Uh, going to the wilderness uh, is a part of God's story in the Bible. In the Old Testament, the people of Israel ended up, ended up spending 40 years in the wilderness. It wasn't a, wasn't a very particularly big desert, but 40 years cut off from where they wanted to be, not getting to where they wanted to go. And then in the New Testament, Jesus, in a sense, fulfilled that with the 40 days that he spent in the wilderness, being tested, being tempted by the devil. I think the wilderness is a good parallel for us as we think about the last year, because it's a, it is a time of not being where we want to be. The people of Israel were wandering, not able to get to the Promised Land. We are conf cons confined to our homes, to our uh, local areas, to short bits of exercise. Unable to be with uh, distant family and friends, unable to be in the homes of, of friends even nearby. Almost, almost forgotten what it feels like. The idea that actually in the, uh, the next week we will be able to meet half a dozen people outdoors in their gardens. It's just a little bit hard almost to cope with. I'll think, we'll think about that later in, later in the week. But it's a time of not being where you want to be. It's a time of being cut off from people. And it's also a time when we face our demons. We face ourselves. We've spent more time thinking about ourselves, maybe, in the last year than we had before. What it means to be alone. What it means to be in a situation we don't want to be. And a songwriter, uh, Michael Card, uh, for me, captures the, the heart of the wilderness idea with a song he, he's written called In the Wilderness. And he says that God calls his sons and daughters to the wilderness. And there is a sense that sometimes God takes us out of where we want to be so that we can confront our demons and also come back to him. He calls his sons and daughters to the wilderness Michael Card writes, but he gives grace sufficient to survive any test. He gives, put, brings us there, and yet he provides for us in it. In the desert, he provided food. The desert was a hungry place, and yet God miraculously provided food. For Jesus, he provided the strength to resist even the, the cunning temptations of the devil. The song continues, in the wilderness we wander, in the wilderness we weep, in the wasteland of our wanting, where the darkness seems so deep. We search for the beginning, for an exodus to hold, 
we find that those who follow him must often walk alone. So there is something special about this time. Maybe some of us have been led to pray in different ways, maybe with more discipline. We discover God when we can't fill our lives with anything else. And then the song goes on, in the wilderness we're wondering for a way to understand. We, we start to wonder well, what, what really is important. And we kind of cope, we have enough food on the whole, we're in the homes that are, that are warm and relatively comfortable, and yet, and yet we don't understand why we, are, why we feel the way we do. Wandering in the wilderness is the best way to be found. And it's my prayer that we will have been found by God. We will have found God and we will have been found by God in a new way in this wilderness time. Final verse, he says, groaning and growing amidst the desert, desert days, the windy, wilder, uh, the windy winter wilderness can blow the self away. And I think it has that potential. Maybe we've there's a danger to become more self-absorbed, but maybe we can also let the wilderness blow the self away. And as we come to this year, and we maybe see some light at the end of the tunnel, but it's not, it's not very clear yet, maybe we use that wilderness experience to face our demons. Not to reflect on ourselves, but not to become self-absorbed. To discover the blessing that God provides grace sufficient to survive any test. Well thanks for joining me. Uh, I'll see you again later in the week and may God be with you in these last few days of this lockdown and may you find him in a new way. God bless. <laughs>